This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code Adjuster TV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. What is a file reviewer? Short answer is that somebody, so, so when you, as an independent adjuster, when you go to um, turn in your claims, right? You're turning your claim into the IA firm that hired you, right? And the insurance company hired the IA firm that, and then who in turn then hired you. As a gatekeeper, as, as a, a way to kind of control the quality and make sure that they're, they are giving their insurance company the right the, the quality level that they're you know their baseline quality level they will have somebody that's going to look over your files before they send them up to the insurance company to be paid right um, and that person is a file reviewer um, in the vast majority of cases the file reviewers are at the IA firm so in other words um, they do have a file review apparatus uh, which is more of like a quality assurance thing on the carrier end of things, and your your file may get through file review here, and then get sent back by a quality a QA person at the carrier who says, "Well, you know, we dug really deep on this, and it turns out you didn't do this thing the way we wanted it to." So they send it; they're going to send it back to you. It's possible to have your file sent back to get for corrections from the I firm file review, and then they put it through, and then it gets sent back again from QA. File review is in most cases they're going to be like making sure you've got the right price list, making sure the company headers on there, making sure that if you you know you mention that there's depreciation and the F9 note that there's also depreciation in your line items. So you got diary in there, and so you got your risk photo, you got your, all the rest of your photos, you got this, you got that, right? It's gonna just basically checking off check boxes to say, well, he's got this, he's got this, he's got this, and not so much like. Um, this isn't exactly how we want you to, to write this estimate. We want you to do it slightly differently, right? They're probably not going to do a whole lot of that. There may be a little bit of that here and there. If, if you blatantly violate estimating guidelines, they may say, hey, we're not allowed to pay for X and Y. Please change it or take it out or whatever and then send it back up, right? Whereas quality assurance at the carrier level is going to say, um, you know, we are going to nitpick your file, your claims and your line items and everything else you're doing in the file. You know, you're missing photos of this. You know, we want you to take this photo this other way. Um, please take more close-ups of hail damage, blah, blah, blah. They're going to really, this is quality assurance, right? So they're going to come back to you and they're going to really kind of nitpick your files, right? So that's really the kind of difference between a file reviewer and a quality assurance person. Um, I think that the best file reviewers, I mean, it's, I think it's pretty obvious, are going to be people that have handled claims before. Right, so they they have an understanding of the claims process. Um, they, they've preferably have handled claims from that carrier, so they already know the process. They know the estimating guidelines, and they can they can give you better feedback on your work. And if they're asking for corrections and things like that, they can, you know, better communicate to you what exactly that they need and why. Right. Whereas in a lot of cases on hurricanes, and you're going to encounter this, and I will tell you. Have a good attitude about it um, because there's nothing you can do about it, right? You may get people that are file reviewers who are untrained people or barely trained it, or and definitely you're going to get people who've never handled a claim before, but they're in charge of making sure you got the right price list, the right header, the right you know the photos are in there, and blah blah blah. Those people may send kick your files back for things that you don't feel like uh, are should be corrected, or you did it right, and they're asking you to change it, right? Be kind, right, to the file reviewer. If it's egregious, call your manager. Don't call their manager. Don't call them. Call your manager and say, hey, listen, I've got three files kicked back for this. Um, and I looked in the, the most recent version of the estimating guidelines, and it says to do A and B. And the file reviewer is telling me to do C and D, to change, to change those to C and D, whatever it is, right? And I just want to make sure that there was wasn't something I missed somewhere. Should I be doing it C and D, or does that person need to be calibrated? And then your manager will tell you, well, you know, actually we did just change that. So going forward, you know, you need to fix those, and then going forward, you need to do it C and D, not A and B, right? Whatever. Or um, no, I, I think that that actually, you know, we've, we've had this complaint from other, a couple other adjusters, and I'm actually just getting ready to get on a call with that person's manager to make sure that they're calibrated with the right thing. 
So for now, put my name in the file as your team manager and say, I told you to do A and B, right, on these three files, whatever it is, and then send it back through, right? And we'll get to, we'll take, if it happens again, just let me know and we'll, we'll get it squared away, right? Don't be taking things, matters into your own hands and being like, well, I'm gonna give you know this person a piece of my mind. They don't have any idea what they're doing. I know everything, right? I've done a file review. I did a file review on uh, Hurricane Irma, right? And I had been an adjuster for like 17 years. And I'm sending files back and I'm like, listen, you guys, you have to have the, these things on any file. Right? There's no risk photo. And I get, somehow I get my phone number and I'm screaming and yelling at the adjusters, right? And this is a person who's like done one storm before and I've, I've been doing this like probably longer than they've been alive. You know, maybe not, but I've got a lot of experience, right? And I'm trying to help them. And it's like, all you gotta do is fix, just put a risk photo in, right? Figure out how to do it and go do it. Um, Cause I'm not, I can't send the file through unless you do these corrections, right? And I have rules as a file reviewer that I have to follow and you have to follow those as well. The ultimate thing that you need to remember is, is that the file reviewer is the gatekeeper between you and the, the your, you and your work and that money that coming to you from getting that work done, right? From you getting paid for doing these claims. Um, I'm not gonna tell you to um, just go with, if, if, if you know that they're not telling you the right thing to do, to just do whatever and just like do as they say. But in the vast majority of cases, if they ask for corrections, do all the corrections and then, and then send your file back up, right? If, if it changes the estimate and you need to call the homeowner back and explain the changes, then you have to do that and document that in your activity diary and then send all the documents back and make every correction that they ask for the first time. I don't know what it is. And I've, I know I've said this on videos before, and but so many adjusters, I'd send back six things, fix these six things. And the adjuster would fix the first two and then send the file back. And the other four, still wrong, right? They're, they didn't they didn't even address them. They didn't say anything about them. They just didn't do them, right? Well, I got to send the file back and say, hey, listen, you still have to fix these four things. And they fix one of those four things. And then they send the file back up. And then I, I'm going to call them as a file review. I'm going to call that adjuster and be like, listen, um, looking at your work, everything's great, except for, you know, we really need you to, if we send you six things to fix, you have to f fix all six things before you send it back. Because I have to re-review the file as a file reviewer. I get to have to review your file twice if I'm asking for corrections. Because, I, and it just happens. Somebody sends in a file, right? And I find six things wrong. They may fix those six things and some something happens it's somewhere in their, in, between when I send it back for corrections and when they send it back, there's three more things wrong with the file that weren't wrong the first time. I don't know why that happens. I don't know why adjusters don't address all, all six things or everything that is asked for. I don't understand it. It happens. Don't let that be you, right? Just do what they ask you to do as long as it's right, right? And you, you want to look up if, if you have a question about it. Look it up, and then after you've looked it up, call your IA firm team manager and get clarification. But in the vast majority of cases, just do what they ask you to do and send the file back and get paid, right? Don't drag the process out for everybody because that file reviewer may be looking at 30, 40, 60 claims a day, right? And they have to review them two times, right? But if they have to send back corrections, they get reviewed twice. First time, you know, here's all six year corrections. And then at the end of the day, or first thing the next morning, it comes back to me as a file reviewer. And I have to re-review and make sure you did all those things, right? I'm not just gonna like look at the first thing and be like, well, we did it and send it through, right? That's definitely not how it works. It's not like if you send it back, it automatically just gets rubber stamped because it just got sent back. It has to be re-reviewed, okay? Understand? Maybe that's the reason why adjusters do that because they don't think that things get re-reviewed. They just are like, well, I'm just gonna do the first two things and they probably won't see the rest of them or care or whatever, so I'll just send it. That may be the, the case in, in some cases, but in the vast majority of situations, just do everything that they ask, please, okay? So that's a file reviewer kind of in a nutshell, the big nutshell. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at adjustertvplus.com.